Hey guys, how have you been? Wow, that is amazing. Reminder, you have everything you need to be where you need to be right now and in you. You are enough just as you are. That said, I considered makeup for this video. I assure you I did. But then Nikona, what's a two-way relationship in my default settings? So, to the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming here. I am Lilite, and in this channel we discuss general life and money matters. Kindly subscribe and join the family so that you are also part of this family. Yani we are that welcoming. We accept everyone and anyone. <laughs> so, to the serious matters, we cannot, we cannot ignore the current state of the world. Even if we were to bury our heads in sand, it would still not help at all at all. So in February of this year, the first case of corona was discovered in Kenya, my country, which is Kenya. And owing to that, some measures were affected by the government to curb more infections. These were curfews and lockdowns. Now, owing to this, the job market was adversely affected, mostly in a negative way. Yeah, given there are those who made so much profit from, especially those dealing in medical supplies, masks, sanitizers, hand wash, surgical spirit, you know, things to do with curbing the coronavirus, mostly the songs. And people dealing with lemon, we cannot ignore these people. They made money. What hmm? was One dimu, one lemon in a toka, 30 bob. Huh? Yeah, those, that happened. So there are those who either lost, lost their jobs, experienced a pay cut, or experienced a drop in business to the level that it was no longer sustainable for them to continue in that business. So to the topic today, job hunting in the midst of a pandemic. First things first. Job search is is expensive. Let no one lie to you. It is expensive to look for a job in this country. There are clearances left, right and center that you need. There is money for transport. There is the look. You need to look decent. You're printing your CVs. You're printing some forms. You're filling in. Then you need money for internet to search for the jobs because most jobs you'll just need that you'll find them online and you'll need to even if you're applying manually you still need to send the the soft copy via email and even before you get that there is i don't know you're searching for location or for their address online so you see you'll be needing money for that there are follow-up calls that you need to make sometimes or just calling people to let them know that you're in the market looking for a job whether they know a place or you're seeking direction, you know, any pointers just so that you get a job. So you are really spending. Some, some of these costs you cannot cut. They are necessary costs. You need them. Like you need to make that sacrifice and it is really worth it. And if, like, if you were to get it, the only problem is that you are not guaranteed, but still you need to in to invest in your job search. So I would advise that first you keep your CV current. Update your CV, put up, uh, like, call up your referees. Because I remember there's a girl who had put up a referee. The person was her former boss. But when he was called, he gave such a bad review that, okay, she was hired for the job, but eventually when they were releasing her, they told them at a tulipot majua too because we had called your referee and he was so mean. The, the things he said were so mean. I don't even know why we took you in, you know. So if this is a job that you really wanted and your referee is here but more than you, really 
why are you even applying for jobs because you give you're trying in this one hand but you're tr- you're taking it away from with the other one so call up your cvs make sure that you still like you there was this trick like just give someone a friend the number and pretend that they are calling about a job and see what your referee has to say about you because some of these people hey these people and yani you can't trust people here people be mean people be mean the other thing is like you keep applying like i know you get so tired of this your email is just your sent it is just full of cvs of your applications but do not tire keep trying keep sending them cuz you never know there is this thing they they call 10% you try 10 times and at least out of those 10 one will succeed so out of the 10 that you send maybe you'll get one interview then you've sent several tens so maybe you get five interviews or 10 interviews and the, out of those 10 interviews then you will land one job this one is theoretically speaking socialize you know in kenya but not just in kenya but in most places some jobs are filled through word of mouth some vacancies because the people working in there they are the ones who know what, which positions are open and what kind of a person they want you know so you can tailor your cv and your the, the answering of your questions to what they really need so, so when you ask a question like how much are you expecting to get <clears throat> you already know their salary range and that i will not be an element of this qualification for you because you already know what they are giving what they are offering so obviously they are going to take one who is within their salary range that will be a plus to you <laughs> then pray <clears throat> you know all in all without prayer you would be so hopeless but just the element of you believing in god that something will give in something will turn up that itself will give you hope to continue and so pray pray and continue praying then practice your gratitude you know there are people who are okay don't get me wrong cuz personally i'm also job hunting but there are people out here who are just walking around with the victim written all over them practice your gratitude there's so much to be grateful for there are people who have lost their lives there are people who are sick there's so much that you can be grateful for you may be having financial issues but there are people who have worse than that so practice your gratitude seek something that is positive in your life and be grateful for you so that you are exuding confidence you are exuding good vibes because people want to be around people who have good energy energy around them because people who have this negative vibe they are so draining like you stand with them for like 5 minutes and the whining is just on another level so you don't even want to meet them again but if you are all good vibes and good energy they want to associate with you so just take basic hygienic measures take a haircut shave your hair okay the for those who shave you shave if you're a lady keep your hair kept well kept just take basic hygienic measures also you can reconsider you can compromise on some issues like term the term of employment excuse me you can now <coughs> consider contracting like you can work on a contract basis now you can seek such terms you can also seek part time there are those who take people for part time part time jobs you can also consider <coughs> consulting you can consult per project or such such things like just look look at your career from another aspect and now that we are talking about careers and you are out here you are free you are you can now you can reevaluate your employment goals you've been working in a certain industry <coughs> maybe you can just sit down and reevaluate yourself are you happy here do you like working in this industry if you are um 
HR, would you consider being a personal assistant? If you are a secretary, would you consider other, you know, other positions in the same industry or outside that industry? If you are in the private sector, would you consider the public sector, the NGO sector, you know? You can just reevaluate yourself. Where are you most efficient? Where are you the happiest? Where do you feel that your purpose is being met in all these industries and ways of life? Then there are other aesthetic measures that you can take while during this period. You can keep fit. Okay, you have so much time. So maybe you can try taking walks in the evening and in the morning. So that by the time you are you're getting a job, your body is already there. You've already attained your your your, your dream size, your dream body. And this may not be seem such like such a major goal, but it will boost your confidence so much that you will be able even maybe to have the confidence to search for jobs you would never consider you would have, you would have never considered before. You can try out recipes, you can visit friends, you can learn a new skill. This may be in the arts or other areas, a, a language like Entra YouTube University. It is actually a vibe actually. You will be amazed at how much you can learn just watching videos. Yes. And if you're wondering, oh, missing the internet, na pesa internet, girl. Night bundles in your serial rambo. Buy night bundles. Anzia watch the ne usiku. Download all you need to do to download, watch all you need, then sleep. Then try these skills. You don't have to spend money while trying out new skills. You can just DIY stuff at home. You need limited, so little money if at all. You can reuse or refurbish stuff that you already have at home. These skills that you learn, you can make it, you can earn some money while from selling the artifacts that you make personally i learned how to craft it and i opened that page lele's craft and i am making sense there this is not a skill that i had before but i learned it so it is possible to do it well before i finish with this other category of people these people they do not even apply for jobs not because they have given up but because <laughs> They have a different agreement with their God. They are trusting for something specific and so they are going to get it. This is not for everyone, but if you are one of them, what I would tell you is that do not take anything less. Hold on, keep believing, because he who promised is faithful enough to see it to fruition. His promises are yes and amen. What he promised he will deliver. He is not a man to lie. So keep believing, hold on, and it will come to you. People will start telling you, oh, but you've waited so long. So you just take what is available now. Let me just tell you that. There's a difference between Isaac and Ishmael. The difference is the promise and the waiting on the promise. So wait for your Isaac. He will come. For those who had such an agreement with god but along the way they felt that they had waited too long and they took ishmael okay so my me Allah, let me also tell you this you will not die in the desert call out to god and he'll strike out he'll strike that rock and he will provide the water for you to to quench your thirst so keep believing go back to the ille beautiful konayo manzoni iyo Trust in that same God and you shall see him work magnificently in your life. So guys, I know all these points are not for everyone, but I'm hoping that Utaparatu Moza, one or two that will affect your life positively. I am so honored that you guys came here and you listened to me talk, talk, talk. But I am really, I really appreciate it. So kindly subscribe to this channel and share my video. If you know someone who look, is looking for a job, kindly share my video with them or not looking. 
kindly subscribe and share this video see you on the next one